everybody. It's your boy with him. How it is, what it is, what it is, how it is. Uh, this one is going to be about uh, how social media controls people's lives or starts to, before you know it, to get pulled in. And that's all they care about is what people think of what they got going on and this and that. Not realizing what's really going on. First off, let's just break it down. Most of us have social media. Now, whether we're on it nonstop, like a toilet, when you had diarrhea. That's one that that's one or the other. But I can tell you this. I know certain people that they got the luxury every other minute, every five minutes. Every, they, they on it. Because they want to know what this person is doing or what this person thinks of that person or what somebody thinks of their status. And then, you know, for all the other commandants out there, because we're not doing this for the Army, we're not doing this for the Navy, we're not doing this for the Air Force, we're not doing this for Special Forces. How about the commandants? Here we are. Uh, even the ob jobs, you know, they, 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 have, they have their part in it too. This is what gets me. My own personal opinion, and I believe it's the truth, most to extent, a higher extent, social media is nothing but a facade. Because you could you, you could have a girlfriend, kids, this and that, and post but post these pictures that everything's a okay, but in real life, it's complete opposite. It's stir fried shit. Yeah. It's like it's like jumping off a cliff without a parachute. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And uh I don't know, it's messed up to me because some people I know on here, uh, I mean, on these things, like, I, I go on mine here and there, here and there for important stuff. I, I used to, you know, just po post shit to post shit. I don't even have my shit linked to this because I don't want it linked. I don't want nobody in the that knows me in real life, want, you know, I want, if they want to find me, they can find me to here. This is where they can find me because I, I'm working for it. I'm not adding no link. But I know so many people, man. They show their lives as one thing on, on, on the gram. Do it for the gram. Do it for the gram. Or for Facebook. Or Twitter. And then... You know them in real life. You know them in real life. And none of that shit's going down. For instance, one of my old buddies I used to look out for. I actually saved his life before. Uh, he would post pictures with his girl, even though his girl he's turning his girl out, his girl turning herself out, making him look like a laughing stock. They post pictures like everything's all peachy. Yeah. Oh, I bet it's peachy when those peaches getting clapped for that thing, huh? Or oh, I'm taking care of my kids. When? Where? Last time we got into it, I was saving money for your kid's birthday. I give it to you a night before and you go out and you burn it up. Mm. Yeah, you still got the audacity. Put some dumb shit on there. About taking care of him. You ain't taking care of shit. Can't even take care of yourself. Or, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Beaver Cleaver with the two kids in the white picket fence and the dog Toto. When really at home, you know, somebody just got an ass with a chainsaw. Oh, yeah. Apply belt to ass. Nobody's on nothing. They just did the whole opposite. Social media, for the most part, is a facade. What people want you to think it's going to be. You know, like with me, 
I just flat out put things, like, put real shit of note. Like, because it's no game. Like, life is, people, people out here playing with their life like a game of cards. Fuck all that shit, for real. Bogus. Complete bogusness. Oh, yeah. Like, oxlessness. Arrogance, insolence. Oh, they'll tell somebody, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Really, they ain't doing shit. That's why I say stop show, trying to show it and talk about it and just do more. We all used to be fucked up back then. We wasn't too poor. Like I said, you get what you give. But here's a perfect example. One of my bro bros. I haven't been around him in years. Like I help him make it out of here, you know? I help him make it out of the state. He gets with this woman, right? This other girl. And he's happy-go-lucky. 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 Then, the shit hits the fan. He start, cr he start cracking with that Tina. Yeah. Old girl was like, I don't, I don't need people from running, running matches and flipping walls. Well... The writing was on the wall. The bricks were coming down, boy. And you know what was so sad to see? I love him to death, and I told him, you got to hang in there and stay strong. They, don't, they always want to see you down. No, 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 no. So don't, don't feed into their bullshit. He puts a post. I would love to show it to you. I'm just going to rehearse it. He puts a post. When I was with my woman... And I would post on here with her. I'd be getting almost 100 likes. Now when I post, because I'm not with her, I'm lucky if I get three or four. I don't care if she sunk the Titanic and you was the Titanic. There's no reason for you to be worrying about what these other fucking people think, man. If, you, if you're so worried, if y'all so worried about what other people think, you guys got some fucking issues. Yeah, you guys got some serious issues. Somebody's getting a little too big for their britches. Yeah. We don't like that shit. You know, and that's what they want. They want everybody to be worried about this and that. Keep distractions so nobody's got their eye on the ball and their finger on the pulse. So, you know, think about that. Because when I seen that shit, I was prostrated with grief. You know, I try to tell them you can't ride the tiger forever, boy. Now look at you. Now look at you. And, you know, I told him, I said, you got to stop worrying about what these. I said, I had to flat out ask him because he was like, what do you care? I said, let me ask. I said, this is how much I care. All these people that are liking your shit or commenting. If you were to go ask them for help right now, what are they going to do? You want to know what he said? They wouldn't do shit for him. At least he was realistic. But what I'm trying to get at is he's so worried about them knowing how he's doing or what it's like or him wanting them likes. Man. The, to be like that is like, you know, be like a kid at the arcade game panhandling. Can I need another quarter for a play? Can I get another quarter for a play? You, you kid panhandling at an arcade. Don't do it. Stop diluting yourself. I don't know why everybody be on that shit, man. Like, for real. Drunk off that clown sauce. I'm over here on my day off trying to fill in the gaps. You know, if I had a fucking penny for every time somebody went on their fucking phone... Right after they made a fucking post in a 24-hour span just to see who said this or who did what, I'd have a pl Platinum Learjet on 24-hour standby and a pilot. I can give two shits on who likes this or who likes that. 
I really do. I give two shits. Because I take wet shits bigger than half these people. That alone right there, that, that keeps me at ease. If I'm taking big wet shits like that, that means they got to fucking put their fucking dookie straps on. And it's just going to cause shit heal and make sure they don't get caught by the shit storm. Otherwise, they'll call it get shit rot. Then there'll be a shit heal. Then they might just go with dysentery. Last thing I'm worried about, because I'm not looking for shit storms, but raining one down on somebody ain't hard. It ain't. And when you got somebody so depressed that he's worried about likes and comments, when I was with my woman, I was getting 100 likes. All these comments. Now I'm lucky if I get three or four likes. What the fuck? Dude. You're feeding, you're, you're feeding for di for digital fucking. You're feeding for that digital. For that virtual reality, huh? Yeah, well. I hope y'all ain't out there doing the same thing because, like. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I keep doing what I'm doing because I, I am, am one way, shape, or form trending. You know, when I started this channel, I had zero subscribers, okay? I'm at what now, 300 and something? I know it's not a lot, but from zero to that, it is. For me, it is. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Are a lot of you guys like that when it comes to the gram or, or social media posts in, you know, Facebook or Twitter? You tell me. You know, it would be like, you know, you having this perfect little, uh, perfect little family, right? And then you, you get into it with one of your friends and you don't pay your friend over a pool game, right? And he exposes on the internet how you like to use prostitutes or something. Yeah, you thought your fucking cookie didn't crumble then? You're going to be a beef crumble when it's done. Oh, yeah. Like I said, you can't ride the tiger forever. You can try, but you will not succeed. You know, if you just keep straight and narrow and keep worrying about you and try to get your pleasures in where you can, you know, just get get in where you fit in. You know what I'm saying? Get in where you fit in. Because otherwise, you know, life going to be miserable. Because another thing nobody want to tell you, life is nothing but a series of distractions before we depart. Well, why don't you make these series of distractions, you know, worth it, pleasurable, full of bliss and benevolence? I don't know. I'm talking to you. I'm talking about this shit. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your boy think. Another one with him. I'm out.